Okay, so we are back uh, here to test uh, laser power meter, which we made uh, previously, and we, we have shown just schematic. But uh, there is a website, and uh, you can actually go step by step uh, uh, through all all the steps, and uh, just uh, basically follow it, and you can connect yourself. Uh, what is important is to actually stabilize and that is very important. I see people testing uh, uh, using a uh, laser B or power meters and they literally put hand and uh, when that happens so you can just literally affect the heat as you can see it's, uh, you never put your hand that close uh, to it uh, because actually you're not measuring laser you're just measuring your heat which has been transferred I don't to uh, so what happens if you touch this one you see you just uh, never never put your hand anywhere near because you, you otherwise your measurements they, they, they won't be just right so second of all you have to really get this right to uh, stabilize so when both uh, plates are equally warm or just at the same temperature then they, they're producing no voltage and that's exactly what you want so as long as one side is warmer or colder you will always get something to to work against another actually you will get voltage which is uh, trying to beat another side and you'll not get the right measurement so you have to actually wait until that is stable and then you can take your measurement so to calibrate uh, this particular meter I have used uh, a diode which is um, 50 milliwatts and it's a blue one actually violet uh, purple more likely and uh, exact uh, particular type I'll uh, tell you in a second uh, that's uh, probably it's called SLD uh, that would be SLD 3232VF and according to data sheet that is producing about uh, 1 milliwatt of uh, optical power per one milliamp roughly uh, it's not much uh, it could be within a couple of percent down and up but that's just about it so if you're not gonna get a uh, precise anything uh, to that extent unless you send it off to somewhere to calibrate it uh, and that's gonna cost really a lot but this is pretty good enough uh, to call calibrate our uh, meter and I think now when it goes to zero we will just uh, start it so what we have I'll just put here heat sink on that lead uh, because that's really necessary this is our 12 millimeter, no, uh, 12 millimeter Peltier uh, element, and it's 12 by 12. So I think it's probably TS1, 12, TS1, 1703, I think. But, uh, and uh, previously I used 440 by 40 and that's really really sensitive if you put hand in front of it it just risks to say anything given you're moving around so you really want to go with smaller size for the purpose of having a more stable reading so therefore I used uh, 12 by 12 so we're gonna connect this uh, diode and it should draw around 48 47 I hope and uh, it's not going well so we are not connecting it right okay so okay something 
something is not really happening. Okay, so it says about 46, 47, and we would expect about uh, 46, 47. Um, milliwatts of power which is just just okay and just uh, within that range 47 47 bob on so in order to really show you how linear that is now it's moving on to 48 and we might wait just maybe 20 30 seconds uh, for laser power meter to increase to 48 which is just yeah it takes a slight increase in temperature obviously but it does work precisely as we expect it to be and I will try to lower now amperage Forty-nine, forty, forty-three, and this should drop down to forty-three, roughly. Forty-two, forty-three, forty-two, forty-one. Okay, forty. And um, if we increase it, I think that this is actually maximum draw would be 50 milliamp, and I would not force it. You could go to 65 according to data sheet max, but um, you could uh, damage your diode in, the, in this particular case. So we're going to increase to 50. Okay. So 50, 49, 49, 48. Okay. 48, 48. That's pretty good. So. I will disconnect this on uh, and that's gonna take some time to drop so it's disconnected and it takes roughly about a uh, test it about takes about good one minute and a half to go down from 50 milli watts uh, down to zero actually it will drop down quickly within 30 seconds to somewhere five six and then it will stay on two three for a while for another 30 seconds and I mean if you're gonna test a stronger laser after that that's okay you can just go for it but if you want to measure 10 20 milliwatts uh, power laser then you better wait another minute after that so you see now it's about three and that's just fine so we will have to still wait something but uh, don't expect to get precise reading unless you wait between them uh, you need to give chance to both sides to equalize to same temperature because otherwise you will not get right reading so that's it uh, next time I will try to uh, show you and demonstrate actually how much heat you can produce with your hand and with uh, anything else and we'll try to test some more lasers using our uh, this particular uh, laser power meter which uh, I have made myself and I'm really happy to do that that's gonna be a really nice item to have